Our program is a 20-month program in collaboration with the Mayo Clinic School of Health Sciences and Rochester Community Technical College. Our program consists of clinical hours, lab hours, classroom hours that uh, helps uh, the person uh, formulate a educational experience to become an entry-level paramedic. Working for Mayo Clinic Ambulance Service, I was uh, not sure whether it was something that I wanted to start right away or if I wanted to continue working as an EMT and then, you know, figure out my life goals. But I talked to a couple co-workers that had gone through the program before um, and they spoke very highly of it, especially the ability to continue to work for Mayo Clinic Ambulance and go through the program kind of just works really well together. But Mayo Clinic School of Health Sciences Emergency Paramedic Program kind of um, pushes you past just becoming a certified paramedic um, and really makes you a very competent and kind of as you know as our instructors say an above average you know paramedic which is something that I think is very important to just be able to get better and better and, and you know, just be the best provider that you can be. I chose to become a paramedic um, kind of in an atypical route. I've done a lot of um, backcountry guiding and expedition style things where medical care was always kind of a tiny aspect of what we did. And over time, my passion grew as I started um, kind of getting into more situations that required medical care. Um, and I always kind of knew that I was gonna dive into this pathway. Uh, so I am from Spring Valley, Minnesota. That is south of Rochester by 25, 30 minutes. Uh, what brought me to the program was that this is a very close program to me. Uh, a number of people that I know and work with have gone through the program and they've spoken very highly of it. So that kind of drew me to this program in particular. And then also, it also made sense for driving wise because it was closer for me. The educational value that Mayo Clinic can provide with the name behind it and the access to educational material that they have is what really brought me to the program. I wake up every day knowing that I'm coming into work, and I use the term work loosely, um, because when I'm coming in knowing that I've got students ready to take on the education that we're providing, it gives me a sense of self-satisfaction, self-gratification, and I take a lot of pride in what I do. And uh, seeing the students grow each day, each month, and into and throughout the 20 years actually is really really important. Overall all of our professors are fantastic they all love what they do they really want to be here you know teaching these future paramedics but Jeff is on another level he eats breathes and lives you know paramedic um, experiences especially cardiology he is a cardiology god um, I feel like I have a whole new level of understanding because of how he teaches and how passionate he is about that cardiology and just the program in general. It, like if we're just thinking about Jeff in, in particular, he's uh, a fantastic teacher um, and leader, kind of, you know, role model really at that. Um, he cares, I mean, like I said before, it's like it's super easy to learn from somebody who loves what they're doing. And it's super easy to see that Jeff Schultz just loves doing what he is currently doing, you know? Um, but not only that, he genuinely cares for us and our success. Um, and that really bleeds down through the rest of the instructors too. I mean, he's not only a role model to us, but he's kind of a role model to our other instructors, you know? So um, it's easy to see how his leadership positively affects everybody else that we work with in the program. My favorite thing about being a learner so far at Mayo Clinic School of Health Sciences is the amount of support that's behind you. So all of the instructors want you to do really well and they will go above and beyond to help you do really well from extra study time if you need it. If you didn't get something in class you just have to call them or text them and tell them that you didn't get it and they will provide you numerous resources to use to learn the knowledge better and then they will also go above and beyond to explain it in a different way because sometimes people don't 
ex understand things unless they're explained in a different way. So that has really helped. And then also just the amount of opportunities that we have and the amount of knowledge that we have. So we are connected to Mayo Clinic, so then we also have the massive amount of knowledge and data that they have stored away that we can have access to and really gain a better understanding of everything. I really enjoy the Mayo campus for its accessibility. I feel like there's plenty of things around to do, to eat. Um, transportation is really great here in terms of the bus service and um, yeah, it's just very accessible. It's very welcoming as well, very user friendly. Blue Duck's up there for sure. Um, super good spot and it's kind of a local spot too. Uh, my wife always says the best burger and I think I agree with her, best burger is at Hot Chip here in Rochester which is uh, not too far away from Mayo campus either. So some of my favorite places here, um, there's a great Thai restaurant downtown, it's called Thai Pop. Um, kind of super unique and fancy, really good food. Those are some really great coffee places here in town, uh, Fiddlehead. We, um, I hang out there a lot and study with friends. During the summer, some places to visit in Rochester is what I would start with because that's when kind of everything kicks off is um, Thursdays on 1st and 3rd. That's always a very good one that people come to the area for. You have tons of businesses and places to get food, buy crafts and little things that people make throughout the year. And that's always really fun. Rochester is a very great place in terms of the city. Um, I am a huge outdoor fan. Um, I spend a lot of time kind of in the surrounding area of Rochester. There's a lot of great hiking trails and um, it's really great for people that like to access the outdoors. To someone who's maybe not sure about joining the program, I would tell them that I would just list, list off the opportunities that they have. The opportunities that Mayo Clinic can provide for you are probably better than most. Most programs do a really good job, but I think Mayo Clinic goes above and beyond to teach you that little extra bit. And then they have a wealth of knowledge they really have the program structured in a way where you can work with school. I personally work full time and then I still go to school two to three days a week. So they are able to structure it so that you can do both and that they can really help you understand things at the same time and it doesn't get overwhelming.